Hello everyone. So this is going to be my Makeout 2013 update for the month of April. I am super excited about this one because this is definitely my biggest blur yet. I got a couple things from Rouge Bunny Rouge off of Beauty Habit. I love Beauty Habit. It's a wonderful website to find brands that aren't exactly accessible here in the States. A lot of UK based brands and I think that most if not all are cruelty free which is absolutely amazing so kudos for that great customer service have nothing but great things to say about them so I've been eyeing Rouge Bunny Rouge for such a long time I've been stalking the blogs believe me uh, Rouge Bunny Rouge is definitely a favorite in the blog sphere and because of the beautiful Seth Atkins it's definitely a little bit more popular than what it used to be here on YouTube as well so Definitely excited to have my own share of Rouge Bunny Rouge. So uh, I haven't even swatched any of these. I just got my purchase a couple days ago. I really wanted to film, but I just couldn't. I was too busy, so I'm filming it today. And so this is going to be kind of like a first impressions. And I can already tell you just by the packaging, absolutely lovely. And I know I'm going to love them. And I know I'm gonna want more. I love Rouge Bunny Rouge because they're definitely a girly, whimsical brand. Uh, they even have such beautiful, whimsical names to their products. They're just their overall brand is just very eloquent, and they put a lot of love into their products. And I really, really appreciate when brands do that. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna kind of haul these because again, I haven't really tried them out. So, uh, yeah, let's begin. Okay, so since I only picked up one of their blushes, let's just start off with that. So they offer cream blushes as well as powder blushes, and their cream blushes are actually in stick form. And I was more intrigued by their powder blushes, so I picked up one of those, and they are called For Love of Roses. And look at the packaging. Seriously. Epitome of luxury. And here is the Rouge Bunny Rouge logo. So the blush that I picked up is called Habanera and I love this because I thought it would look really good with my warmer medium complexion and here it is right here. Look at the beautiful compact, it's just gorgeous. So here is the color and it came with a little protector. And there's actually flowers imprinted on the powder. Just beautiful. So I love it. It's kind of like a terracotta with a hint of rose. So just a gorgeous color. And I heard that this was very similar to Nars Douceur. So here it is. Very, very beautiful. So Rouge Bunny Rouge offers a pretty wide variety of lip products as well, and I love my lip products. So I love that about them. Uh, they offer two different kinds of lipsticks. One's more sheer and the other one's more opaque. And they offer a bunch of lip glosses as well. I didn't pick up any lip glosses because I am on a lip gloss ban, but I definitely was tempted. Uh, but I did pick up two of their lipsticks. So the more opaque lipstick is called Hues of Enchantment Color Burst Lipstick and this is the packaging and this one is called the Plot Thickens and the tube of this lipstick has some substantial weight to it. It's pretty, uh, pretty hefty and uh, so here it is, the Plot Thickens, if you can see that there. And I love this color. I was looking for a really nice nude. Something along the lines of Max Cream Cup. But this one is definitely a little bit more on the rosy beige side. Uh, less pink than Max Cream Cup. But definitely still beautiful. So again, I have not swatched these. This is my first time. Very, very beautiful. It has a really nice sheen to it. It seems like it would be very hydrating on the lips. And 
there's not really a distinct smell to this as well, which I actually like. So, so far, so good. The next one is one of their more sheer lipsticks. Almost a glossy-like finish to the lips. And this one is called Succulents of Dew Sheer Lipstick. And this one is called Fluttering Sighs. And it looks like this. And this one is like a peachy pink. So let me swatch it next to the plot thickens. Gorgeous color. And it's funny, it seems that this one is a little bit more opaque than the plot thickens. Very creamy if you can see that there. So here is Fluttering Size. So next I picked up a lip liner that I thought would go really good with both of those lipsticks that I just shared with you. And their lip liners are called Forever Yours Long Lasting Lip Pencil. And I picked up the shade Morald. And let me pull this one out for you. So this is how the lip pencils look like. And this is definitely more of a cool toned pink. It has some mauve to it. So that is the long lasting lip pencil in Royald. Okay, so now on to the really fun part, the eyeshadows in my opinion. And Rouge Bunny Rouge is definitely well known for their lovely eyeshadows. So the first one that I picked up is actually a eyeshadow duo. And their eyeshadows are called When Birds Are Singing. And they have these lovely wisps. So, here is the packaging. Gorgeous. And here it is. C major, A minor. And I knew right off the bat I had to have this one, and you will see why. So, here are the colors. So, this side is a lovely mint, and the other side you have a beautiful lilac. So let me swatch these. These are so buttery smooth. It's ridiculous. So those are those beautiful colors. So definitely great for the spring. The next one is a single shadow and it is called Alabaster Starling. And here it is. And this one is a lovely highlight shade. It's like a pinky beige. Ooh. This is definitely a pigmented one. This one definitely reminds me of Max Floof. This is just absolutely stunning. So that is Alabaster Starling. I also picked up three single shadow refills and I picked these up for one because they're much cheaper. They're about $19 as opposed to I believe $26 for picking up one single shadow in the compact. And you can put these in a Z palette. They also sell their own individual shadow compacts and they're called Shadow Keepers and they have one that you can fill two single shadows in and then there's another one where you can fill three single shadows. But I had my own little Z palette, so I figured I would just use this instead of spending money on a little uh, shadow compact. So, the ones that I picked up, the first one is called Abyssinian Catbird. 
and here it is right here and this is a beautiful stunning bronzy shadow with some hints of olive to it so I think all eye colors can definitely wear this color and this is one of their most popular shadows and I can definitely see why the next one right here is called Lilac Reef Caruso and this is a beautiful pale lilac this one has more hints of blue to it very pretty almost matte and then the next one this one right here is called trumpeteer coal or coel and this one is like gray with hints of lilac shimmer and I think those two colors would look beautiful together so those are the single shadows that I picked up and lastly Beauty Habit was so sweet enough to send me a bag of goodies so really quickly I will run down all of the samples that they gave me first of all a really really cute card which I think is just so thoughtful and so sweet I love when companies do that and they sent me two perfume samples and everything that they sent me is cruelty free which is amazing so the first perfume sample is Taka and it is called Giuliata and I believe that this is a French perfume and it smells so lovely so fresh not a very overpowering scent at all as well as this one this one is called Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanilla Apricot I'm probably butchering these names I'm trying and this is definitely a French perfume smells lovely as well and then they sent me this vegan moisturizing mask from iSun and this smells like chocolates it smells heavenly and it looks like chocolates it looks like chocolate syrup so they sent me that so that's awesome a really nice vegan sample and then they sent me a aromatherapy associates renew rose body cream haven't opened that up yet and this mask from Leonor Grail Paris mask Fleur's de Jasmine so I'm guessing this is a jasmine mask and you can see here not tested on animals so I believe that this is just a really nice luxury uh, brand and oh this is a mask for your hair so really excited to try all these samples and then a bunch of discounts so that was just so sweet of them so I just quickly wanted to mention how thoughtful they are so that is my Rouge Bunny Rouge haul I hope that you guys enjoyed I will leave a link to Rouge Bunny Rouge down below as well as beautyhabit.com and I am also going to leave a link to Seth Atkins channel he actually works for Rouge Bunny Rouge now so he is very knowledgeable he does a lot of Rouge Bunny Rouge reviews so definitely check him out and I am also going to leave a link to two videos that Kristen Game just posted she posted a Rouge Bunny Rouge haul as well as a review on their foundation so definitely check out all of those and I will see you guys in the next one.